Now it's time to electrify our dollhouse. What we're going to do is start making our lines, just as we did from our drawing, using the guide that I had, which I stated was just one inch. And this is what we use throughout the house. And this is why we also don't want a sharp pencil. So we get a heavy, heavy black line. We'll do this throughout the house. Have plenty of pencils handy because you will break leads. all the way around the house where we're going to run our tapeware. This again is your horizontal run. Sometimes it helps being a little ambidextrous. Just make sure your light is nice and heavy. And we'll show you why in a minute. Okay, we've now completed the horizontal lines in our first floor. And we can start by putting the tape wire in it. So we'll get our tape wire. This tape wire has an adhesive back on it. Very easy. All we have to do is peel it and stick it. So we peel it just like this. And with the first line right here, as you can see, I've got a heavy black line. Now, here's what we do, why we need a heavy black line. We're gonna make sure, and we're gonna ensure that that pencil line is between the copper strip and the blue strip. So all we see in here, we do see our heavy black pencil line. One thing I did forget to mention, folks, is before you start drawing your lines, you'll see that I have painted white every room, ceiling, floor, walls. You have to seal the wood in your dollhouse prior to uh, even putting in your tape wire. Having a white wall also helps identify your nice black line. You can see it a whole lot easier than you could on just the raw wood, but it is important to seal your wood before you start laying your tape wire. So we've started that. You see, I've got a lot laying out here yet. I will explain that in a minute. But the first thing we want to do, and I'm going to try and do it right now, is using that pencil line, we're going to run our tape. And this ensures that the tape is nice and straight throughout the house. As you can see, there is nothing extremely difficult about laying tape wire. It is fast, it's easy, and very dependable. Take it up to the corner, crease it, and I'm going to take it right over here to where I'm going to end. Now, here's where my scissors come in. I'm going to cut this tape wire. And finish attaching that tape on the forward wall. Now, as you can see with my tape wire that I know, we all know, we can see the black line in between my copper and my blue. We know that we've got that down pretty good. Now, it helps if you have a credit card or whatever, and I'm going to show you why. It's a heavy plastic. 
And what we're going to do now with this plastic is we are going to take and go all along that taper. The reason we're doing that is to make sure that there's no bubbles or creases in our tape and that it is solidly affixed to that wall. Okay, now I got a little overhang on my tape wire here. As you can see, my tape is a little long. I've done this on purpose to make sure that I have plenty of tape wire to work with. But what I'm going to do now is only cut what I don't need, cut off what I don't need. And peel it off. Like so. There is the first run of our horizontal run. Now what we're going to do is continue running our tape through the rest of the house on the first floor. Now that we have the horizontal run done in our house, it is time for us to take and power up this tape wire. To do that, we've got here a junction splice. On the bottom, as you will see, with the use of my pencil, we got two nails. These two nails we will put into our tape run, and that is what connects this transformer and provides the power through this inline cord and uh, gives the dollhouse the electrification that it needs. This transformer, as you can see, will just plug right into your ordinary outlet in your home. So let's, let's get this started here. Now, what we're going to do, so we know, get the correct placement of our junction splice, and with the transformer not being plugged into the outlet, we're going to plug this uh, inline cord into the holes of our junction splice, just like this. So it looks like this. Now, for the placement, for the placement of this junction splice, to have it correct, with it plugged in, we are going to place that junction splice and make sure each nail is on one of the strips and in far enough so that the plug, when it is totally installed, as you can see right here, will be protected by the side of the house. Do not put your junction splice out here at the end. Doing so, you're going to cause damage to your plug. You can wiggle it, bend it, whatever, and then you're going to have possibly uh, a non-functioning uh, plug. So, all we have to do is push it in till it sticks. At this point, remove your plug, get your brass hammer out, and pound it in. You can go ahead and pound it hard, because this is a hard impact plastic. With that done now, double check to make sure it did not shift there. Nice. We got the junction splice and the tape run. Our plug is now protected by the wall of the house. We've got extra tape here that we don't need. So again, with a hobby knife, we'll take it alongside the junction splice and get rid and cut it off. And then 
remove it. Just like that. Now we have a nice clean cut with our tape wire. And as you can see, <clears throat> the Dea house is as smooth and you probably want to have the options of using clapboard siding, bricking or whatever. But you can always do that then around your junction splice. Now we have it, we've done that part. And we see here that we've got our tape wire running to the front of the house, and then we pick it up on the other side of the door. This side here, this tape run right here, is not connected to this tape run over here. Now, what we're going to do is connect this tape run to this tape run. What I've opted to do to do that is I want to run a tape wire up this wall, across the ceiling, and down that inside wall to the other tape. Which is fine because I also know that I want to have a ceiling fixture in this room and I'm going to need this uh, tape run on the ceiling anyway. So let's do that. I have now taken my dowel house, tipped it upside down on its roof, and I've marked my ceiling. As you can see, I have various lines on the ceiling. Number one line will connect the one side of the room to the other side of the room and taking it down the wall. You'll see another shorter line in approximately the center of the ceiling. This line is going to have tape where I run to it to connect, to connect my ceiling fixture to. This is what your roof ceiling will look like once you have marked it. Again, your dollhouse is not glued to the workbench table, so you can turn it upside down and make it a lot easier to work. Now I will take and quick run my tape along the ceiling and show you what it looks like when it is completely finished. <laughs>